So, dogs, by and large, are sociable animals. The fact that people who live up here in the north of North America have taken advantage of since early times, training them to pull their sledges as a team. And up here, too, lives the biggest of all the dog family, and it, too, lives in packs. If animals are to work in a team, they need to be able to communicate with one another. And sometimes it's possible for you to communicate with them. Oh! Wolves howl to warn neighboring packs to keep their distance, but they also do so to reunite their own pack if it's got scattered after a long hunt. And as they assemble again, they visibly delight in one another's company. This pack too, like that of African hunting dogs, is ruled by an alpha pair, who are the only ones to breed. But there's also a strict hierarchy among the other members, one for males and one for females. This is reinforced daily by mouth licking, crawling and mounting. These rituals become particularly intense just before the pack leaves on a hunt. It's a bonding session that reminds each hunter of its place in the team. Invaluable in the struggle to come.